friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Ibi Fair Deborah Otasi, aka Fair Good. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified whenever I get to post videos. And after watching our videos, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up. So today I'll be talking about how to answer some interview questions and keep your interviewers hiring and make sure they get you back to meet. Okay, number one question is tell me about yourself. But before then, this is it. Most of us, after most of us are fit for the job we apply for. Like we are really fit for it. Some of us came out of first class, second class, or para, the rest of that. We have our BSc, our MSc, PhD, and the rest. But you see, our CV doesn't really show everything about you. It just gives it, just gives us a little view of who you are. So, you see me doesn't, through your CV, I can see your appearance, your attitude, your accent, your composure, and your eloquence can be seen through that paper. So, there is a need for a one-to-one -one interview. And when you go for an interview like this, the first question you might be asked is, tell me about yourself. Now, tell me about yourself as you do, you selling yourself in two minutes, not more than two minutes, your name, what you do, who you do it for, and why you do it more than others. Yeah, your name, what you do, who you do it for, and why you do it more than others. That's a competitive advantage. The second question is your strengths. Your strengths. Now, your strength has to do with you be given your name. Your strength now has to do with your interviewer asking you in the sense as your hiring manager asking you why do you think this job is for you? That's just it now. Why do you think the job is for you? That's a question, it's a tricky question. And now you make the interviewer understand, you could answer by saying, Okay, I've worked with, I have an experience with. I have an experience as a manager with um, oil firm, with an oil firm. I've worked there for some years. I've attended some trainings and I think I'm knowledgeable enough compared to other staff. So let's say I'm knowledgeable enough for this job. Then this third question could be your weakness. Now when your interviewer or your hiring manager is asking about your weakness, it asks, your weakness could be seen as a strength depending on how you project it to your hiring manager. Your hiring, hiring manager could perceive it as a strength. For instance, you're the person that doesn't like to work alone. You don't go there and tell your hiring manager, sir, I'm scared though, I can't work alone, this, that, no. You project it as a strength, though it's a weakness. Now, you, you can say, sir, I believe in teamwork. And I don't like, to, I don't work, I don't like to work independently because I believe I can give in more and achieve more when I work with a team. You've projected it to him that you believe in teamwork. You tell him, sir, I tend to be more attentive to details whenever I work with him. And then I'm more creative with it. You've given out your strengths. Then the fourth question that you're likely to be asked is, how long do you want to work with us? Now, how long do you want to work with the manager, with the firm or the organization? It's just a way of making you the asking that question to see how dedicated you are, how committed you'll be while working with them. So it has to be with you highlighting the features that will keep you in that organization. Then the fifth question is how where do you see yourself? You know, the fifth question could be. Why have you been unemployed for this why? What kept you at home for this why? And you can tell them, I believe in growth and I believe I've come to the stage where I need to give back to the society. That is it. I need to give back to the society. And this work fits exactly my purpose. It's a push for me to attain the height I want in my given field. Then the last question is, where do you see yourself in five years' time? from now. Most persons tend to pull out the company when explaining this. Like, carry the company along, carry the organization or the firm along. 
in five years time there you want to see yourself doesn't mean you, see, you should start saying five years time i want to be married with my husband and children i want to be doing this i want to be doing that no the company or the organization should also be part of your vision for someone who is committed mind you you're coming to look for a job and you're asking the question so when you're being asked that question your vision should be okay in five years time i should be the assistant man if depending on the field maybe in human resource getting promoted, I should be promoted to this height and then I should have been able to win some awards. Yeah, that's better. And if you find this interesting and educative, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.